Iran and the United States' political tensions have made their way onto the pitch. Fans in Qatar hit back at the German national team's mouth cover protest. Qatar's World Cup chief has his say on recent negativity by Jurgen Klinsmann and Gary Lineker. And finally, here are today's World Cup results. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Tensions are running at an all-time high between Iran and the United States ahead of kickoff on Tuesday evening as Iran's government has demanded that the US men's national team is kicked out of the World Cup and given a 10-game ban. This comes after the US Football Federation displayed Iran's flag on social media without the Islamic Republic's emblem, with the US stating that the move was done to support protesters in Iran. The emblem was later returned to the flag. Both nations compete in a massive clash at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar on Tuesday night, with the US needing a win to qualify for the next round, whilst Iran only need a draw to head to the round of 16. Qatar's football fans have hit out at the German national team's gesture of covering their mouths prior to the kickoff against Japan last week, protesting against FIFA. On Sunday night, fans at the El Beit Stadium held up pictures of former German footballer Mesut Ozil while covering their mouths to highlight blatant hypocrisy of Germany's football association. German FA had targeted the former international with racist abuse, whilst making him the scapegoat for their early exit in the 2018 edition of the FIFA World Cup. Qatar World Cup chief Hassan Al Thawadi has slammed recent negativity by both former German international Jurgen Klinsmann and BBC presenter Gary Lineker. Klinsmann, speaking as a BBC pundit, commented on how Iran had a culture of physical and aggressive play. This sparked the ire of Iran coach Carlos Quirez, who took aim at Klinsmann on Twitter. Al Thawadi further stated that what Klinsmann said highlighted blatant racism. And finally, in today's World Cup news, a thriller was on the cards in the opening match of the day as Serbia and Cameroon battled out to a 3 3 3 draw, whilst South Korea clawed their way from 2 0 down to Ghana, who level scores at 2 2, only to lose 3 2 in heartbreaking fashion. Coming up later tonight, Brazil face Switzerland in a match to determine who goes top of Group G, and Cristiano Ronaldo and his Portugal team take on South American giants Uruguay in tonight's mega clash of the day. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.